Hey now, people, it is Thursday, the 18th of May. Let's get it going. So I just heard from Jan with Discus Music. The CDs have arrived safely. I told her what I need next from them is instructions on how to word the Bandcamp entry for um, overseas sales. I don't know what to say. I don't know where to have... I don't know if people... I don't know what the next step is. So I'm waiting for them to tell me how to set up the entry on my Bandcamp page for, excuse me, for the 10 CDs that I sent to England to be available through the Berlin distributor. So um, hopefully I'll be able to tell you that in the next video or it might be a couple because again, Jan, um, the, the head of Discus is, is Martin Archer and he's out of the country. <clears throat> so I don't know if she has the details for me or not. But I wanted to let you know that the, that's much is happening. Still receiving still receiving sales orders and um and uh, I'm just going to just say, you know, they're gone when they're gone, they're gone. This is fun to do to do it like this. Along those lines someone who I accidentally sent the wrong CD to, I sent the correct one. Consequently, they sent the copy of Derek 2 that they didn't want back to me. They could have kept it, but I guess they didn't want it, you know. And also they included, I think your name is Rudy. He sent me some CDs. He said these are, I think what he said, because the note is out in the other room, is that these are some doubles that he had that he thought maybe I did I would like, and I, I appreciate it. The first one I'll show is this thing by Pat Mastelotto and Marcus Reuter. You know I've been talking about Marcus Reuter because he is very prolific and has a lot of releases on the Moon June label through Leonardo Pavkovic. This is real good. It's a one. It's one long. Um, Piece of music called Face, and what a neat package! Look at that. And I'm happy to say, a uh, friend, that this is good, and this is a welcome entry into my collection. It's a 35-minute long piece, and I listened to 18 minutes of it before I switched, which is like that's really good to engage and keep things moving fairly seamlessly with really no dips in um, interest in what what's happening this was pretty good thank you for sending this to me face by Pat Mastelotto and Marcus Reuter you guys know Mastelotto from King Crimson and before that was it Mr. Mister he was in had that big hit Broken Wings I didn't know this artist. Josephine Orn and the Liberation. A thing called Mirage. Nice graphics. I like that. This is a mixture sound wise. The band plays a mix of kraut rock influences and psychedelic. The motoric beat is there right away. The churning, grindy organ sound that um, I associate with early Faust is here. She sings. Her voice is pretty good. My overall impression is this is good. I had not heard of her, like I say to folks. I haven't heard everything. How could I? And this is nice. I never owned anything by House Lords I knew of this band. House Lords Interventions, a band that plays in the just intonation scales on their instruments where they have to adjust the frets and everything. Uh, I just listened to the first three um, pieces on here and it was enjoyable. Um, a unique sound, 
a group a group it's it feels and sounds like very much like a group creation that the, that everyone involved has a lot to do with the way that music comes off thank you for sharing music with me thank you so much um, I love that gentle the, the gentle giant official page has a link to my most recent interview with John Weathers I love seeing the reaction to it it was a very warm human exchange the sort of thing that we need more of we always need to be sharing love so it's wonderful and if you haven't watched the interview watch it it's it was a very nice visit with a with a genuinely nice person yesterday I went down to Homer's after I saw their entry for used they had something I wanted possibly I went ahead and got it it was so here's the deal I went up and picked up soft machine 5 I've been needing an upgrade and this is this is better than my my copy that I had it's in better shape not so much ring wear but even better the album this is a real clean copy when I got soft machine 5 years ago I didn't buy it when it first came out I was um, I, 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 I don't know where my head was at but I didn't buy it and so I didn't get soft machine 5 until later used in a, a really crappy beat copy so I love, love soft machine and okay so the fact that this is the first album without Robert Wyatt probably had something to do with my waning interest in it um, but this is good John Marshall on drums and um, that was that was what I got yesterday here's something that was down there for six bucks I used to own it got rid of it and I said okay in many ways this does belong in my collection it's not psychedelic but it's from the time that time period the end of the the end of the 60s going down into the 70s or is it is it a little bit later let me look this up right quick illustration is the name of the band a Canadian horn band and uh, looks like they tried to have a, a hit regionally 1970 that's what I thought yeah so this is like with horns kind of soulful there's several slow love songs on here where to me the words are kind of strange They're, you know times have changed you know or leastways um, what is socially uh, seemingly appropriate is has changed back in these days you still heard a lot of what I considered either mis misogynistic or or um, male um, dominant sort of um, lyrics where guys are talking like they almost own the women and just the old way you were mine and I made you do this and just you know so these lyrics are cringeworthy to me for the most part but I like the cover it's a good band the arrangements are good and they never they obviously didn't sell anything in America because it's a promotional copy I I, I don't know if I've ever seen an actual copy for sale back in the days when the industry was up and running good and they were spending money like nobody's business throwing money at stuff to see what would stick wasting a lot of money on a and r men a lot of and women a lot of unnecessary partying So that's today's update um, shortly I should be telling you okay the European sales are up on my Bandcamp page I, I'll be happy when I can tell you that it's not today I waiting for instruction and 
The other thing that I can share with you is it looks like I'm not going to be playing Maha Festival Festival with Icky Blossoms. Um, I just said that I would like to. I wasn't their bass player. I, I did play with them a few times. But I see that they're rehearsing with Sarah Bertullo, who I forget the name of her band. But uh, that makes sense. Icky Blossoms is image conscious. They are. I understand that about them, and I'm I'm the old guy, you know. I wish I was still young and desirable in that way. But I understand what they're going for. So I I'm bummed that I don't I don't get to play, but I also understand what they're up to, so more power to Icky Blossoms and the return of the band. Okay. That's what I have for for this morning. This afternoon at three, I'm um, scheduled to have my next chat with Guy. Guy is how we would say his name, Guy, but it's Guy Seggers, a musician that I think more people ought to know about and hear, ought to listen to him. Okay, that's coming up next. As always, hello, family. Hello, everyone. Be, be, be good.